This is what Trump actually thinks of himself. Sort of like a hot guy. I was hot as a pistol. I think I was hotter than I am now when I became president, okay? I don't know. I said to somebody, was I hotter before or hotter now? I don't know. Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Who the hell cares, right? I'm sorry, but is there anyone who finds this hot? <sighs> Mom, I don't know, Mom. This is getting... This is a heavy sucker. <sighs> Uh, oh, mom, I can't do For a guy this delusional and opinionated about himself, he sure is critical of other people's appearances. For the president, horse face is just the latest insult aimed at the looks of women he doesn't like. Take his 2016 opponent, Carly Fiorina. Look at that face, then-candidate Trump commented. Would anyone vote for that? I'm not going to spend a single cycle wondering what Donald Trump means. On former Miss Universe Alicia Machado. She gained a massive amount of weight, and uh, it, was, it was a real problem. There was this about Jessica Leeds, who accused him of sexual assault. Yeah, I'm going to go after. Believe me, she would not be my first choice. In case you've been hidden under a rock, Trump is a huge misogynist. And if you need more proof, check this out. There was a tape deposition of you from October in it. You defended the comments that you made on that Excess Hollywood tape about being able to grab women how you want. Do you stand by those comments? I said, if you're famous and rich or whatever I said, but I said, if you're a star, uh, you are, and I said, women let you. I didn't say you grab, I said women let. You know, you didn't use that word, but if you look, women let you. Now, they said, will you take that back? I said, look, for a million years, this is the way it's been. It's just a reminder of how misogynistic Donald Trump is and how bloated his own image of himself is. Listen, it's one thing to look in the mirror and go, hey, I feel good about myself. I don't care if I'm older or younger or whatever, bald, I have hair. You should be confident. But this guy thinks he's God's gift to woman, uh, and he's not. And uh, he's also someone who dishes it out, which again, some people might argue, they say, you know what? Uh, that's his opinion. He can say what he wants. He can be a pig if he wants. But maybe you're someone who goes, well, you know, but his policies are something that you like. Let's not forget that his policies are affected by the way he sees women. That's why he was one of the people involved in taking away a woman's right to choose. Look at what we've done with Roe v. Wade. We did something that everyone said couldn't be done, and we got it done. And I give great credit to the Supreme Court and the, the justices for having the courage to do it. One of the biggest changes in law in the past 50 years was done because he does not respect women or their right to choose. He does not respect women to the point where he's cheating on his wife multiple times wives, I should say. He does not respect women to the point where he's constantly insulting them and going after their appearance all the time. So if you're a woman who really thinks that Donald Trump cares for you or is someone who is someone who's going to help you in any way, uh, I'm sorry to break the news to you, but he doesn't and he's not. Also, the group that is supporting him on the far right are also people who don't respect a woman and a woman's uh, ability to be an independent thinker and be independent in life. We look at some people on the far right, the Christian right, who think a woman's role is to be in the kitchen and shut up and raise the kids and cook and clean. If that's how you think, then go ahead and vote for this guy. But if you're anyone with an iota of drive or an iota of intelligence, and you can clearly see that this guy, Donald Trump, and his party are not friends or friendly or, or supporters of women and women's rights, then you should reconsider and vote for the party that is there, that actually respects women, that aren't going around calling women horse face or, or, or saying they're going to grab them by the beep beep. So just a reminder, just a reminder that this is the person that we're dealing with. And we have people, we have women that sometimes think, well, you know, I want to vote for him. Or if you have, I can pull up clips of him making racist remarks and you have people of color going, I'm going to vote for this guy. Or you have uh, clips of this guy uh, making remarks uh, against the LGBTQ community. It just goes on and on and on and on uh, against the Jewish community, on and on and on and on and on. This guy is a blowhard. He's a narcissist. He's someone who does not care about you. And he's someone who uh, just is looking out to win the election so he can get rid of all of his legal troubles and he wants women to vote for him. So any woman that you know that's thinking about voting for this guy, send him these clips, show him these clips, show him other clips of the way he talks about women and the way he devalues 
women and uh, maybe they'll wake up and realize that this guy is a pig. I'm comedian Maz Jobrani. I have a comedy special on YouTube. It's called The Birds and the Bees. Check it out. If you like it, let your friends know. If you don't like it, keep it to yourselves. Thank you.